multiplying rational expressions. We're asked to multiply and simplify our answers. And these expressions, before we should actually multiply them, we want to see if there's any terms that will cancel. But in order to do that, we need to factor each one of these if possible. So our first step is to rewrite each one of these after being factored. So I'm going to start with this one in the upper left hand side here, 3x minus 9. If I'm factoring that, it, both of those two terms have a common 3 that I could factor out. So if I factor out the 3 in this first term, I would be left with just the x. And from the second term, I would be left with a minus 3. If I were to distribute this 3, it would be 3x minus 9 back to what we started with. So our factored form is 3 times x minus 3. And let's move down now to the one below it here. This is a trinomial, but the leading coefficient is 1, so we should be able to factor that by setting it up. x squared has to be x and x to get x squared. And I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to give me a positive 6, but add up to 5. So I can use plus 3 and plus 2. And if we check this, 3 times 2 gives me the 6 in the end that I needed. And the 3x and the 2x from the inside and the outside add up to give me 5x for the middle term. So that's our factoring here, x plus 3 and x plus 2. Moving over to the other fraction, I again have a trinomial and leading coefficient is still a 1x squared so it has to be x and x if it's going to factor and I need two numbers that multiply to give me 2 but add up to 3 so 1 and 2 both of those pluses when I check 1 times 2 gives me the 2 but then 1x and 2x gives me the 3x when I add those up so that does factor into x plus 1 x plus 2 and the last term down here at the bottom x minus 3 there's nothing I can do to factor that it's just going to be x minus 3 but now that we have everything completely factored we can look for any terms that can cancel or cross cancel so canceling up and down I don't see anything in the first fraction that cancels this one and same thing in the second one I don't see anything that cancels there but if we look at the diagonals remember cross canceling we can cancel diagonally both of those have an x minus 3 so I'm gonna cancel that x minus 3 looking in the other direction these two both have an x plus 2 so I'm going to cancel this x plus 2 with that x plus 2. So doing that cross canceling has simplified everything enough so that whenever I multiply in the top, I will have the 3 times the x plus 1. That's all that's left, 3x plus 1. And in the bottom, the only thing I have left is that one term here x plus 3 x plus 3 so nothing else to cancel we've multiplied and simplified you could distribute that 3 in the top but that's not necessary uh, nothing will cancel so we can leave it in this form